What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have an easy and delicious summer recipe that's a, a high protein dessert. Um, so that's coming up and then also going to fill you in where I've been last what I missed last week <laughs> um, and what the plans are. So anyways, let's jump in and get this video started. Okay, so I missed Monday, what, last week, um, and that's because I just, things just got chaotic and I didn't get around to making my video because that's as simple as it was. Nothing bad happened. Um, I'm sorry, usually I try to be on Mondays as my day, um, but things just got crazy with kids home for summer and I just didn't get around to making my video. So, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, which was Tuesday, and then something else came up and I was like, ah, I'll do it Wednesday. And by the time I actually had time, which today is Friday, the week is gone. But the thing is, <laughs> it was obvious <laughs> that in order for me to have success and keep the journey moving forward, with summer and like the new schedule that I'm on, I, it's, it's more important than ever to put myself on a schedule even though I don't have a schedule. And that is part of the June monthly challenge is planning was one of my number one things. If I don't plan, I'm gonna get myself into a pickle. So thankfully I realized it, you know, a couple days into last week, I'm like, all right, I had a week off with my kids. They, you know, I ran them all around for camps. You know, I was kind of unfocused. But in order for me to keep moving forward, I'm gonna have to get back to business. It's not a, it's not a vacation just because my kids are out of school. So um, that was brought to my attention, humbled in you know a lesson or a good reminder for that lesson. Basically, for the whole summer, um, you guys know I go away, I go north, I go visit my family, we go to the lake. You know, like it's a, it's, it's such a environment for me to get off track. It's so hard. You know, it's just. It's vacation for you know us and all of our friends and family that visit. So this year, I need to make sure I plan ahead and just keep that in the back of my mind. Know that if I just make the plan and I have things for me, I'm going to stay on track. You know, but if I let myself get unfocused, there goes the summer. You know, and then there's going to be weight I have to relose. The good news is, despite being unfocused, I did not gain any weight. So I'm still stuck at 235, but it's been, I think this is my third week, still at 235. So while I'm not gaining, I am, uh, it's, I've wasted, I didn't waste three weeks, but like I had three weeks I could have had more pounds off towards my goal, you know? So um, it's all about choices. If you want it bad enough, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So I was finding excuses all week, convenient excuses to go do things instead of stay focused. Um, and that also meant that I had a lot more anxiety last week because I didn't work out. I didn't do any walking. I need those walks. So um, this summer I am planning on continuing walking, getting a lot of steps in, especially in New Hampshire where the mornings are nice and cool and get those steps in, go walk around the lake, you know, that kind of thing. So all, with all in all, it was nothing bad but nothing good. It was just more of the same. <laughs> So we got another week here and I thought I would plan ahead and I've actually filmed a couple videos that you're going to see next week or this week for you guys. <laughs> um, this way I have a bunch of videos done so that while I'm getting settled at camp and all that, um, I'm not chaotic and I'm not creating a stressful environment. I can just rest a little bit after a nice road trip and then pick back up towards the end of the month on a regular schedule. So. With that said, being that nothing crazy happened, I do have a delicious high protein ice cream recipe made with my favorite ingredient, cottage cheese. <laughs> so um, let's go down to the kitchen and make the most delicious high protein ice cream bars. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. <laughs> Element electrolytes have been my absolute favorite electrolytes. I've been using them over two years now. They are the only ones I reach for. They are my favorite because of the science-backed ratio of electrolytes. You're getting 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium in each packet. I like to sip on them while I'm fasting. I like to sip on them while I'm working out. They just help keep me hydrated. They keep my energy levels up. They help me sleep in good with that magnesium. They're just all around the best ones out there. They are sugar-free, gluten-free, no artificial flavors, no fillers, no colors. Just a great electrolyte for those of us on a sugar-free or a keto lifestyle. Now, watermelon is my absolute favorite. 
I also like the raspberry, but don't take it from me. I have a promo for you using this special link. You can use my link as many times as you want, but it's only available for the Keto Rewind community, but you can get a free sample pack with any order. So go to drinkelement.com forward slash Keto Rewind. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Keto Rewind. Thanks Element for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. Alrighty, it is now time to make the high protein, low carb ice cream bars. And this basically concept can be made into many different ways. I've seen these turn into like little snack bite pieces. I've seen other people just make this into ice cream. I thought I'd take it a step further and make it into an ice cream bar. So the flavor combinations are endless. Um, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we're gonna use. So you're gonna need some form of cottage cheese. I'm using the 2%. Um, if you want to do full fat, go for it. If you wanna use the fat free, it's all about what fits in your macros. So I'm headed more in the low carb direction. This, uh, so, and also a little, because it's a dessert, I want it a little bit lower in fat too. So I'm gonna go with PB2 or peanut butter powder instead of peanut butter. Um, and that's just to save calories. <laughs> Um, I'm using this peanut butter fudge sauce. I kind of like it. Um, I have my chocolate chips that I'm gonna drizzle the chocolate on. It's just gonna be sugar-free. And then I wanna put a little crunch in there, so we're gonna make some roasted pecans to put in there as well. Just kind of make it like a Snickers kind of take. <laughs> so um, what you're gonna need is either a pan, that, this is just a plain old nine by, or 17 by whatever <laughs> cookie sheet. Um, if you have popsicle makers, you could do it this way, um, or, be, or if you're like me, you can also use these type of molds that are like a popsicle mold thing, but I somehow have lost my other four, so <laughs> I have popsicle sticks that we'll use instead, and then I'll also, also show you how to put them on here without any type of a mold and just using the popsicle sticks that way. Uh, but you're going to also need a pan to roast your nuts if you choose to do this. I like roasted pecans. I'm just going to drizzle a little butter and salt and roast them in my air fryer. Um, it's so easy, quick and easy. And I like to do it myself, so I buy them raw and then roast them myself. This way you're not getting all those crappy seed oils. So anyways, let's start roasting the pecans because they uh, require, I guess, the most time. And then we're gonna puree our cottage cheese. The serving size is a quarter cup, so I'm gonna roast a bunch at a time. I'm gonna just do a cup. And I don't like to make too many because these are very addicting. <laughs> so I'm just putting a cup here and see if that will reach the bottom, yeah. So we're just doing about that much at a time. And that'll be plenty for today's recipe. And these are the pecan pieces. I sh you know, you can get the whole ones, whatever. Um, but next, I'm gonna melt pour, uh, about a half tablespoon or so of butter on these. So let me get that. All right, so I have a tablespoon of butter left. And then I'm gonna put this in the microwave and be back. Okay. So now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle some butter on top. Doesn't look like I need all of that. So I probably did a half tablespoon of butter. Um, can we talk about these gravity dropping salt grinders? Oh my gosh, all you do is this. These have changed my life. <laughs> there, fresh ground salt. After you've mixed them all up, you want them to lay flat in the pan. So I just use a fork. And that is all there is to it. So now we're gonna put them in the air fryer. You can use an oven, but for such a small quantity, I'm just using my air fryer. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. All right, sorry about the noise in the background, that's the air fryer. <laughs> so next thing we're gonna do is puree our cottage cheese. You don't want a bunch of chunks in your ice cream unless you're looking for chunks. <laughs> And all the recipes that I make always require a pureed or smoothed out cottage cheese. So I just take the entire container and I stick my immersion blender in there and I puree it and leave it already pureed so that when it's time to go, I just pull this out and I can measure out. So um, we're gonna go ahead and take this. We change the camera angle here. Okay. So we're just gonna pop this in here. 
and it, it goes pretty quick, I promise. I turned the pecans halfway through the cooking process, but those are looking perfect. So let's bring them over here in the normal light. Those are nice and ready to go. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge so they're cooled off by the time I need them. But that is roasted pecans. So the next thing I did was I transferred all <laughs> of that cottage cheese into this mixing bowl. Um, I probably should just <laughs> pour the whole container and did the immersion blender in here or just use the big food processor. But you know, this is, it's, I don't plan ahead. <laughs> so I have a half cup of PB2 right there. Now, like I said, you can use regular peanut butter, but it's gonna be, the macros are gonna be a lot higher in fat. Um, this is just a quick and easy hack to keep the calories down. I This is my favorite go-to sweetener. Um, this is the one I've been using probably almost the, probably three quarters of the time I've been doing keto. Um, this has been my go-to. A Swerve and Lecanto, and those ones are okay, but this one is by far the best. So I'm gonna put a half cup of sweetener in here next. Let me put change the camera angle. I'm gonna open up my fresh packet. This is pricey, but I tell you what, <laughs> it tastes good. Um, none of the cooling effects, none of those things that a lot of the keto sweeteners come with. So anyways, let's get a half cup of that. And I personally would sweeten as sweeten a little bit at a time and find out where you like it. I just know that I usually do for this much, I'll use a half cup. Uh, but you could do it in like tablespoon increments and that's a great way to um, find out where your sweet spot is. Now, and then also, if you want it sweeter than that, add more, you know, there's no right or wrong answer. And honestly, I like to make my own so I can adjust my levels of sweetener. I feel like sometimes when you get store-bought stuff, it is just so darn sweet. And then you get that extra, because it's so sweet, you're getting so much of that artificial taste, even though it's not artificial. You know what I mean? So anyways, give that a good stir. Give it a taste test. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Look at how good that looks. Does that not look like a cheesecake batter? <laughs> So um, you could also add cocoa powder, but being that I'm making these dipped in chocolate, I'm just putting the chocolate on the outside and kind of going for like the Snickers or the, the Snickers vibe. So I'm gonna go get a spoon. We'll taste that for sweetness and everything. Now taste this for sweetness. See if you can get that view. Oh man, that's good. Perfect, I wouldn't touch anything. So half cup PB2 powder half cup powdered sweetener, and then a whole container of cottage cheese. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> so the next step we're gonna do is toppings. I have a peanut butter fudge sauce. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit in here and give it a very loose stir. So let me get a, another spoon. All right, so I want this to stay thick. Normally if I serve this, I would soften it up in the microwave, but I want this to be swirled throughout. I don't want it to be blended as, you know, like pureed. So I'm doing about maybe three tablespoons worth, just so there's just a little something in there and then clean off the sides. All right, set that aside. You can do any type of fudge. You can completely miss that step altogether. And then that just swirls it through there and a rough stir, so just like that. All right, so the next step, let's change the camera angle again. We're gonna get our little containers. Okay, so doesn't that look good so far? <laughs> and if you wanted to skip all this next step, you can just throw this right in the freezer and make ice cream out of it at this point. But we're gonna go a little bit further because I'm feeling extra today. Now, I have these things that I'm gonna pour that mixture in, and then we're gonna make a few free-formed ones for the extra. So I will change the camera angle and let you see how that goes. Take these things out and I probably should take like a piping bag and make it in there neatly, but you know, that, that's for people that are live a perfect life. I don't do that. So we're just gonna plop it in like that.
Okay, so at this point, I've smacked them down a gazillion times to make sure they are filled to the brim. And then I'm gonna add the little guy here. And then this one. And because I can't remember where I put anything, where I throw everything away, we're gonna use we're gonna use good old popsicle sticks for these. All right, and I have some batter left, so I'm gonna set these aside, and we're gonna just freeform what's left. Just so that you don't have to buy any fancy gadgets to get this to work. All right, so I probably have about three here. I'm gonna plop it down. Maybe I got four. I'm just gonna put a pop popsicle stick right in there. <laughs> and there you have it. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer for a, gosh, at least, probably at least an hour and I'll be back at the next step. Okay, so it is now day two and it's time to make the peanut butter sauce. So I put one package of Lily's baking chips and a tablespoon of butter in here and I'm gonna bring this back to the stove. And I'm gonna melt this chocolate and I'll be back when it is nice and melty for the next step. Okay, so we have nice melted chocolate now. We have the roasted nuts that we had from yesterday and we have a frozen <laughs> high protein ice cream with that peanut butter PB2 sauce. And all we're gonna do is dip it in here and then put some nuts on the top. So let me situate the camera angle here and we'll get going. This is the fun part. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna pour some chocolate right on there. Like that. You gotta work kind of fast because the chocolate wants to remelt really quick. And then once you have it on there, we're going to top it with some yummy roasted pecans. And there you have it. Do it one more time. Spread it on there, kind of like peanut butter. <laughs> Oop. Oh darn, that other one got extra chocolate. Like that, and some yummy pecans. And that's it, done. Okay, here is the finished product. I had plenty of chocolate. I even had enough to make a little chocolate patty. <laughs> Whether you drizzle the chocolate on top of your dessert or you dunk it or whatever, that's gonna change or affect your macros but I used one whole nine ounce bag of chocolate chips and I had more than enough. <laughs> okay, so now let's do a taste test. I gave this about 10 minutes to thaw because you don't wanna eat these right out of the freezer. They'll be too hard and the texture will be, so I'll give these a little bit to just soften up and give it a taste test. That looks so good. <laughs> and I have it open on this side, it's just, Chocolate on the front. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That is excellent. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Mmm. Recipe link down below. Party in my mouth. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, use this link down below. Try a free sample pack of Element with any purchase. Bye, I'll see you at the next one.